This is just New York pizza, you know what I mean? We're like a traditional New York slice shop, just with a little bit more patience. When I say like traditional New York, that's the f ethos of like what we do here. Like I don't jeopardize something that has existed in so many homes for so many years to a point where it becomes too highbrow, too fancy, and too unapproachable. Pizza to me is like, in its simplest way, it's for everyone. It should always stay that way. What we do here is that we keep it approachable, we keep it fun, and we add a little bit of patience to it, and it just gives the person a better product of something that they would have already normally eaten. And that's something to remember. Growing up in Papillonis was, was, uh, was pretty nuts. It's something that was like truly foundational. It's kind of like having professional athletes for parents and then you decide that you want to play that sport. You're given probably the best teachers you're going to get and the ones that are probably going to be the most forgiving. There's a lot of things that like looking back on now, having my own place that I'm really grateful for. We're in uh, Lucia Pizza Avenue X here in Chizze Bay. We're going to see our fish guy. Avenue Fish Market, it's unbelievable. What's up, Ange? How you doing? I haven't seen you in a minute. I'm picking up the clams today. Ange knew my dad um, when he had Papillonis back in the day. Everything here is the best, everything. How many times you walk into a fish market and like it smells so good in here. That's the difference. Hey, listen, you want to talk about Papillonis? The clam pie has got, got its legs from there. My dad used to make this pie with like a, like a little bit of like a seafood mix. What ended up happening here was like, I need an ace in the hole here. I need something that I think for the area is special. And the first pie from that Rolodex was that. So right now he's chopping the fresh cherry stones. So we get whole fresh cherry stones. We shuck them, we save the juice. It's a part of the sauce as well. After that, we saute them in a pan with a white wine butter reduction before they go onto the pizza with some garlic. See how my dad did it, yeah. Going with some white wine. I mean, there was no figuring out that recipe. It hit the pan the same way that I saw my dad do it. I mean, like everything that he did, I mirrored him. What's that? It smells amazing. I'm never gonna make these guys do this more than one day a week. It's as good as it is because of the labor of the prep that is involved for that pie. I'm only gonna use fresh clams, and I'm only gonna do it on Fridays, no matter what. I don't care how crazy it gets. So we only use the finest of New York City tap water. A lot of people from different states are always like, oh, we can't make the same pizza as New York, it's the water. A bad dancer blames the music. <laughs> This is our trusted Hobart. Originally when we bought it, uh, we were told it was only a few years old. And then when I got the Hobart guy here, the guy said it was older than us. Man, these machines, they put kids through college. This is gonna make 50 pounds. We're gonna try to mix this for like a maximum of like 10, 11 minutes. And uh, we're gonna add our fat in a minute. I like to add the fat a little bit into the process so that it ends up cleaning up the bowl for me a little bit. It's oil. That's all it is. This is coming together. I knew I need, needed more water. Adding the water at this stage is always like, it's a crapshoot, man. It's like what I think, you know, might happen, you know? I think the last time I checked when I actually did the math, that is always going to be within the 62% hydration to 63. Floats, changes, you know? For a New York dough, it's kind of like perfect for us. We like to have a product that's not gonna dry out too fast. Adding a touch more water is gonna make it perfect. I know when the dough has like the right amount of water when all my pizza men are bitching about it. When they're all like, it's so soft and stuff like that, then I know it's perfect. So this is the thing that I, I learned on. This is the same mixer mom and dad had. Same oven, not the same oven, but same exact problems, you know what I mean? I'm just looking for the right amount of stretch and I'm looking I'm looking to see that that this is not it's not breaking as easy, you know? So it tells me it's nice. So a little unconventional, but I like to just rest this guy for a little bit 
I like to rest that for like 15 minutes before we cut and roll it. I just do shit that I've seen done by people that were a lot older than me for the majority of my life. And I'm okay with that, it worked out so far. It's been a minute since I cleaned the plate, but we're all right. Look at that. Ah, you mother man. Holy dude, I haven't done that in years. All right. We're cutting and rolling them, respective of like an 18 inch pie. So all we're doing here is we're just getting these nice and taut. Everyone's got a different technique. I mean, I've seen guys do this a million different ways. I just try to get it nice and tight and close it and use this hand to kind of do that. And then I might go like that and then just get a nice little dill ball right there. But it's good for your forearms. Growing up, I always found myself hanging in the, in the basement and a lot of the dough prep for that business was in the basement. And then I would like just practice rolling dough with whoever was making it, you know? At like a young age, they would like try to pawn that shit on me, you know? And I'd be like, no, I'm not doing it. I would like avoid it because Poplioni's was like a really special place, but there was like a lot of things that I look back on now and I'm like, damn, that's like, that's not easy for anybody. When you asked me when I was like rolling the dough, you were like, you're like, oh, like, what are you doing here? So that's incredibly hard for me to teach somebody. I'll recommend like a YouTube video. I'm not gonna be able to explain it because because every time I grab it and I do it, they're like, wait, whoa, whoa, what'd you just do? And I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, I'm a righty, but sometimes I'll close it with my left hand and I'll spin it with my right or I'll close it. I mean, it's just my hands are doing it for me. And I, I just, I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm really happy I know how to. I did it so much when I was younger at the shop. So these, we like to get them in the cans and what we'll do is we make sure that the same way we rolled it is, is like, this is the top, right? So it has to stay that way. So what I'll do is I, 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 I do it a bunch of different ways, but maybe I'll go in with the top first. I give it a little press. I give it a, just a light press and that's it. That's it, I'm done. It's like, you remember getting that first yo-yo that had a brain in it and sleeping the yo-yo for the first time and not understanding what that was about. All the kids in school were like, all you gotta do is really like snap it and it'll do it automatically. It's the same with my life in pizza. I was just told things like just that's the way it is. And I don't them. And it worked for my mom and dad for 46 years. I don't have an explanation for everything we do here. So these are all the plastic cans. Some guys prefer the plastic ones. Some guys prefer the metal ones. Kind of just depends on your take of it. The metal holds the temperature better. I'll take a look at it in like an hour and I'll see if it needs more time out. And then well, what I want to see is ultimately I want to see them rest. I want to see them relax before they start to blow up, you know? But they're definitely not gonna double out here. We don't want that to happen. We just want it to, to grow a little bit out here and then we'll do the rest real slow in the fridge for like a day and a half, two days. It's lunchtime, people gotta eat. So we try and streamline the process, get people in and out of here as fast as possible. I mean, bro, it's pizza. It should be uh, something you just, Get it on the plate and go. Walk, do whatever you gotta do. It's, it's pizza, in and out. If it looks like we hit the ground running, I'll take it, but that is not the fucking case. Man, we could not figure out how to nail a can count for the first month and a half where dough would get caught up, sell out. There's nothing cool about selling out at 7 p.m. ahead of like a dinner rush and getting a bunch of pissed off people in here because they can't get the pizza. This ain't the area for it. All those days, like, I don't like miss them at all. I remember writing an email to Emma Orlo, who is the reason probably why we're on camera. I wrote that email in like pretty bad shape, right? Saying like, hey, I'm doing this thing. We're in Sheepshead Bay, I'm terrified. And she picked it up from jump and mentioned that Sheepshead Bay had been undercovered for a long, long time. And I feel like a review became like a news story. Like, what the f is happening here? Why is this a sheep said bay? I'm gonna make a vodka pie right now. Growing up, the vodka sauce for like all the pastas that my parents would make was made like a la minute. It wasn't, it wasn't pre-made. So I saw it come together in the pan a million times. Ours, like, I guess, tends on like the lighter-ish side. It's a, a pretty bright sauce and I like it like that, you know? For me, it was the best way to make the sauce. And, and it was tricky in the beginning. And of course, it's not exactly the same, but the method is there. I wouldn't make it for you guys on camera, though. No. 
It's the one thing, man. Like, uh, just let me have it, you know? Like, you know, let me have that shit. I think Shoopsie Bay is like a different planet compared to the rest of Brooklyn that people know what Brooklyn is today. Surrounding shops that are part of like the old guard of South Brooklyn Pizza. My parents' place was one of them. I hope that someday we're part of the old guard. You know, I think that would be really cool. The name Lucia, is, it comes from like being my favorite Sicilian name. I want the place to always feel warm. I always thought about this, like seeing young groups of kids like hang out here and, and know and understand that like this is becoming in some ways like a part of their life. I always think it's like really beautiful because I have those places, my friends have those places, we have them together.